We have breaking news on this Easter Sunday. Pittsburgh police are investigating a mass shooting on the city's north side. Two juveniles are dead and nine others are injured. The gunman is still on the run. And this is video sent to us by a viewer. You can see just how many police were on scene hours ago. And we have team coverage this morning. Bryant Reed and Chris Hoffman have been on scene for hours now, speaking with police and neighbors. We'll start with Bryant. So Bryant, tell us what happened. Well, Brandon, it was certainly a scary situation for neighbors overnight as many groups were running for safety from shootings here in the neighborhood. As a matter of fact, you can see this vehicle right here that's about to be towed off has uh, is the back window has been shot out by bullets. There are also bullet holes in different areas of that vehicle. Now, several people were taken to the hospital from this shooting, and we have video of what it looked like inside of the party at the time that the shooting started, and we want you to take a listen. Now, police say just after midnight, they got shot spotter alerts from this area. And when they showed up, heavy shooting was still going on, as you can hear from that video, as well as the terrifying screams. Now, this building where the shooting happened was an Airbnb where about 200 people were reported partying. Police say many of them were underage. Now, officers were able to find at least 11 gunshot victims. Two of them, both male juveniles, died of their injuries at the hospital. Now, Brianna, Pittsburgh police say that there were about 50 rounds of gunfire that happened overnight of, and during this intense shootout. And many people were trying to get away, some of which I want to focus your efforts to the windows here because they were jumping out of the second story windows. That's why some of these windows are broken along with glass on the ground. Police say that the ones who jumped out of the window sustained cuts and bruises, as you, as you can imagine. Some also ended up with broken bones and in the hospital. Now we have been on the scene while police are investigating, and as we work to bring more, to learn more from the community as well as police, we'll make sure to keep you updated both on air and online. Reporting, I'm Brian Reed, CBS News, Pittsburgh. Absolutely terrifying. Thanks, Bryant. And now we also have Chris Hoffman on scene. And Chris, you've been talking to neighbors. So what are you hearing? Well, Brianna, we spoke with the owner of the Airbnb that's on the bottom floor. He made it very clear he owns the bottom floor, not the top floor where this party happened. And take a look at some of the damage that was done to his place. Here's his front door here. You can see where it was actually kicked in because of everything that transpired last night. Uh, there was actually a family from out of town that was in this Airbnb. We were able to catch up with them. They didn't want to talk on camera, but they say they were in uh, because of the Easter holiday. They had just actually kind of settled in for the night. They had kids They had just put to bed. They were kind of getting some Easter stuff ready. The party upstairs was getting louder and louder, so the, the walls started shaking. They left to go to a hotel because of all that noise around 1130. Around 1230 is when police say this shooting happened. Now, the owner of this Airbnb did show us around. He pointed out how there were bullet holes in both bedrooms right next to the bed. So that family got out of there pretty much just in time. We spoke with a neighbor. He lives a few doors down from where this all happened. He was in shock. You could really hear the emotion in his voice. He came out this morning to find blood on his car because someone that was obviously injured had brushed up against it. He said it was, uh, for lack of a better term, traumatizing that he had to go to a car wash to wash several uh, lots of blood off of the side and back of his car. He couldn't believe it happened. He says, you know, these Airbnbs, they're used. People use them often. He said there was just a party here the other weekend. You could see the people out enjoying themselves. But he said he has never seen anything like this. He was really quite stunned to see what had happened. Obviously, police are going to be continuing to investigate. We're going to learn a lot more from them a little bit later this afternoon. But the owner here, he says we, we need to work to stop this because the owner of this downstairs Airbnb is also a uh, works with a community empowerment group. So he really tries to work with youth to prevent this. He has also set up a GoFundMe to help the victims of this tragedy. We have a lot more coming up throughout the day. Look for our reports throughout the uh, afternoon into the evening and in, into the days that follow as well as we continue to follow this both on air and online. Live in East Allegheny, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.
a traumatizing night for many. Thanks for that closer look, Chris. And Pittsburgh police will be providing an update at noon, and we'll be streaming that live on CBS News Pittsburgh. You can find that on KDK.com, and we'll continue to provide you with updates online and on CBS News Pittsburgh and on the app.